going now? Yep. All right. All right, this is the first attempt at a hot lap on the Five Miles of Hell Trail in Utah. I'm on my 2020 YZ125X. Of course, I've got the B-Rad Products Freight Train Performance Package installed. This includes a funnel web air filter, apex cylinder head, voice and rad valve, and the electron carburetor. I gotta say, uh, I was a little nervous about riding the 125 on uh, this trail, but no issues with the kit. Everything ran really great. Having that low end punch and the really smooth uh, mid-range power made everything super smooth and easy. Honestly, I can say it was really no harder than riding my 250 or even a 300 through it. It performed super well. So uh, why don't you just go ahead and click the link in the description after the video is done playing and check out these products on my website. You'll find other performance parts for many different bikes, and you'll also find the awesome Mitas tires I used on this trail. Just uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. I'm with my buddy Joe, and our goal really was just to ride it uh, smooth and clean with no stopping. We did get mixed up at a few points and lost the trail, costing us about three minutes, but um, all that included, we ended up doing it in 49 minutes flat. And we still had lots of energy left in the tank by the end, so we're going to have to come back and try it again. Uh, I'd really like to get below 40 minutes, and I definitely think it's doable. Just got to push a little harder and uh, remember the course slightly better. The first people that I saw try and tackle this trail straight through and time themselves were Cole Kirkpatrick and Russell Bobbitt from Gnarly Routes. I believe they did it in 42 minutes, and that was also with getting lost a little bit, and I believe it was their first time on the trail. Also, my buddy Ryan Wells did it in 38 minutes, um, so they all have videos out there uh, as well. I urge you to go check those out. I'll even link them in the description of this video. Um, so thanks to those guys for the inspiration. It's super fun. I highly recommend uh, other people go out and try it and beat uh, my time and Ryan's time and Cole and Russell's time. It's really fun. We did do a sort of sight lap a few days before with a group of friends. That time it ended up taking us about three hours to complete the trail as we were waiting, helping, and uh, sessioning a few of the features. But it really did help in this just to know what to expect. And um, a couple features like the uh, crux uh, allowed us to pick out some lines so we knew what to expect when we came up to it. But anyway, I'll shut up now and enjoy the video.
So here's the start of us getting lost in a few spots, but thankfully not too bad right here. Already hard to follow. Five is real tough. Oh my god. <laughs> Lots of shifting from second to first. So although the freight train kit does a great job giving it good smooth power, it still is a 125 and you got to be really particular about what gear you're in for this kind of stuff.
So this next feature we're coming up to is called the Crux, which is probably the hardest part of the trail. It's really not all that bad. Um, definitely if you're more beginner or intermediate, it'll pose as a threat, but uh, as long as you keep the flow through it and have some confidence, it's really not all that bad. Contrary to how well I managed the pain there, the seat definitely came up and smacked me in the nuts really hard. I was pretty much trying not to choke. Oh, my God. 
next section, I just want you to notice how absolutely buttery smooth that 812 suspension is. Honestly, it kind of blows my mind how stable it is there. So, Doc, over at 812 Suspension, thanks a lot for setting my bike up. It's fantastic. If you want your bike set up similar to this, give them a shout out. Let them know I sent you. That's not the right way, that's a loop. That's a big time killer. Same spot. The last time I rode it, I got mixed up.
You're probably wondering why I'm riding so weird in these sand washes, like I'm at this weird mid-range RPM instead of just wringing its neck out and getting through it. And yeah, I felt weird too. This stuff is really, really tough to ride in. It's like this super heavy, dense sugar, sand, silt, weird stuff. And as you can see, there's all these rocks buried underneath. So going fast just seemed a little sketchy to me. I'd rather just make it safe through nice and not injured and bike messed up so we could finish the trail. Um, so that's why. <laughs> Here we go. This is what happens when you let Brad go out front. He completely loses the trail and costs us almost a whole minute of shenanigans. <laughs> As you can tell though from all the other tracks coming back this way, I was far from the first person to do this. It's not a very well marked turn. I was way off. That's why Joe needs to lead. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the kind of sections that I feel like we could have made up a lot of time. We kind of lollygagged here, but it's definitely a fine line between uh, going fast and unfamiliar terrain and, you know, possibly messing up and not finishing the trail or, you know, go at a pace you're very easily comfortable with and not make mistakes and finish the trail. So I guess we erred on the side of caution for now, but I think next time we can definitely step the pace up. Mm-hmm. 
for sure the dumbest mistake I made the whole trail. I don't even know what happened there.
<laughs> that was good. Yeah. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. No. Towards the end, I was getting a little, little pumped in the hands, yeah. but fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it goes a little different that pace. It's way easier, honestly, to just yeah, keep it's just going. To follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Missing the trails. That one spot. Dude, if you didn't go down to that canyon where I got turned down, I would have been well, I would have been another 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we it, there's two there's two down. paths that go down into there. Yeah. I looped around and ended up right back where we started. <laughs> Sweet. We made it on a GoPro battery. That's good. Nice. Five miles of hell. <laughs> my, my new buddy Joe. <laughs> That's good.